Right, I'm just making a, uh, a quick video about um, the general election, uh, who I think I'm going to vote for, uh, and a bit of a talk about Angela Rayner uh, and this um, uh, unpaid, you know, uh, fiddling uh, capital gains tax. Now, I've watched a few videos on uh, YouTube. Um, and like you know, I know like everybody, all these, all these sort of um, political, you know, like um, people doing videos, they seem to fall into the category of like Labour supporters or Conservative supporters, you know, and people, um, you know, calling Angela Ray uh, Raymond Rayner, Angela Rayner, a gobshite, you know, she, oh, she's a gobshite, and she's, um, you know. Uh, fiddling her, uh, the sale of her house and getting out of capital gains tax. Well, I'll tell you what I think. I don't blame her. I think, um, you know, it, apparently it's only a £1,000. And I think to myself, so what? You know, she was a, a home carer, single mother, home carer, wasn't she? Um, she must have been skinned. I mean, let's be honest, if she, she's bought a, uh, bought out, bought a council house, um, sold it, made a few quid... Uh, and she owe, owes the government a thousand pound. So what? Good honour. I, I think we'd have all done that. I think given the chance to um, not pay a thousand pounds worth of tax, um, we'd have all done that. And in actual fact, you know, it, it's like how many people, you know, like painters and decorators, builders, plumbers, electricians, um, you know, cashing hand jobs, um, you know, landscape gardeners. Everybody's on it, and they everybody's on, everybody's on it. You know, um, getting out of paying tax. Nobody likes paying tax. So, um, you know, I think fair enough. Do you know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm not a Labour supporter. Um, I voted for Labour. Uh, I voted for T Tony Blair when he's, when he's come in. Um, but since then, when uh, Gordon Brown was then took over, I voted Conservative. And I voted Conservative ever since in every election, right? And at the minute, um, I'm sort of thinking to myself, at the minute, I'm thinking, uh, I don't think I'm going to vote. That's that's where I've sort of got to. Um, you know, w would, I, would I vote for reform? Yeah, maybe, possibly. But I feel as though it's a bit of a waste of a vote because they're not going to get in. Um, you know, w w could I vote Labour? Would I vote Labour? Well, maybe, possibly. But what I think is, I think Labour are going to do the same thing as, um, you know, when, when President Obama came into uh, office. You know, when uh, President Obama came into office, everybody was like, oh, he's, he's going to, you know, change America and it's going to be, um, you know, equal for everybody and, uh, you know, it's going to be a fairer place and blah, blah, blah. And he didn't do anything, did he? He just completely and utter. Having Obama in, he was he was the president. What did he do? He didn't do anything, did he? he didn't do anything. Um, and at, at the minute, you know, like I think Keir Starmer, they don't seem to have any policies, do they? Um, you, you know, I've heard sort of policies. I keep hearing sort of like snippets of policies. You know, there seems to be a, a policy for the minimum wage where they want to make the minimum wage um, £15 an hour. Uh, I'm not being funny, but if they do that, um, inflation is going to skyrocket. You know, everybody that's now everybody that's now sort of thinking to themselves, oh, we're out of the shit, mortgage rates have gone down, or going down, uh, and your mortgage is going to be cheaper. Well, I'm not being funny. You know, if they, if they, if they put the minimum wage up, to uh, fifteen pound an hour, we're in the shit because inflation's gonna gonna skyrocket. You know, their mortgage rates are gonna be back up. They're gonna be back up to, you know, six seven percent. No sweat. You know, um, you, you know, there's a there's a there's a few things like this morning. There's a Labour idea that they want to put up um, sick pay. I think currently sick pay's um, one hundred nine pounds a week, and they want to put it up to. £179 a week. Well, you know, fair enough. I, I, I think that's not probably not not a bad plan. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm a landlord. And, um, you know, Labour's obsessed with ran landlords. You know, they're going to be doing rent, rent caps. 
They're going to be, I'm sure they're going to be uh, abolishing the Section 21. Um, and I would say, if they do that, uh, the UK will be like Ireland, where you won't be able to rent a house, because all the landlords will just think, do you know what, I'm going to sell up. And uh, it'll be even harder. It's like it's like the Tories. Every time the Tories fiddle about with um, housing and fiddle about with, with lettings and abolishing things, all they seem to do is push up the rents. That's, that's all they do. All they're fiddling about, you know, um, sort of... Uh, when when they ban when they stopped um, letting agent letting fees for when you uh, rent the house, all that did was just drove the rents up, and that's all it'll do. But I think my, my big point is here is you know if Keir Starmer gets in, um, the country is virtually bankrupt. He's got no money. Um, you know I'll be interested to see what his election um, pledges are. Um, because really, if, if he's going to get in and then he's going to do nothing, um, then it's just a waste of time. It'll be it'll be four years. He'll get in for four years, and then he'll be out for another. Labour will be out for another, whatever, won't they? You know, sixteen years or something. Uh, but that's what happened. In fact, I can't believe um, going. You know, going going on about um, policy ideas. I can't believe that neither of the parties have still managed to sort out uh, the, the care issue. Now, you know, you know, like years ago, probably about 10 years ago, we were supposed to have a care cap. Um, and the idea was, you, you know, you would pay 70 grand towards your care um, and then the government would kick in and pay for your care and you wouldn't need to sell your house. Uh, the Conservatives have, have recently, I don't know, two or three years ago, they've come up with the same idea. I think they did it at 90 grand, saying, oh, you know, you'd have to pay 90 grand, and then, um, you know, the, then the government would kick in and pay, you know, pay for your care. But to me, it seems a bit unfair that, that somebody who's got nothing, if you haven't got a house, um, your care's paid for. If you've got a house, then you've got to sell everything you, earn, you've, you've got to sell everything you, earn, you, you own um, to get down to 25,000 before the, gov the government um, kick in, before they'll pay anything. Um, you know, I know the government's skin, but surely, um, y you know, people, when they go in care homes, they only tend to live for sort of three to four years. That's what, that's what tends to happen. The care homes are generally there to kill you off. Um, so, you know, I would have thought Keir Starmer coming up with an idea and going, right, we're going to sort this care problem out. Um, even if he makes it 100 grand, you pay the first 100 grand uh, and then the government kicks in and pays your care costs. There you go. That would be a good, um, that'd be a good Labour policy. Um, second thing, the House of Lords, you know, do we need the House of Lords? No. Uh, you know, apparently, in the House of Lords, you can go in and get, like, a, a full English breakfast, a coffee, um, for, like, £2. Apparently, it's subsidised canteen, and it's really cheap to go in there and have your dinner. dinner. Uh, and all these lords sort of go in, get their £200 a day for turning up, go and have their dinner, do about an hour, and then go home, and then go home for a kip and watch Bargain Hunt. Um, so you would have thought, again, you would have thought Labour would have been like, right, we're going to reform the House of Lords, they're all coughing dodgers, um, we're going to get rid of it. There you go, and that save a load of money, you know what I mean? Stop them getting their cheap breakfast in the morning. Uh, there you go, that would be a, a good Labour idea. And as you can see, look, I'm wearing me um, Abolish the Monarchy um, T-shirt. You know, again, you, you know, why don't Labour... But they've got no money. Why don't they just say say to the royals, right? You know, instead of instead of you having whatever you're having, fifty odd million or whatever you're getting a year, you know, we're, we're knocking that right down. You know, you can have two hundred grand. That's the that's your lot. That's all, all you're getting. You know what I mean? And if you're going anywhere, forget about flying. You're not flying. You can go on a train. Uh, we're not doing helicopters. We're not doing flights. You know, uh, royals in other countries. You know like royals in Denmark and things like that, that you see them cycling about on a bike. Um, you know, and our royals, you know, oh no, it has to be like travel, first class, 
uh, are hiring planes, are in helicopters, are in whatever. You know, surely Labour could come in with a policy and go in, right, we're going to strip, them, strip the, the, the royals back, we're going to give them a lot less money, and that money we're going to use, um, you know, for the NHS. I mean, to be honest with you, all I'm bothered about, generally, is um, the NHS and potholes. You know, our roads are uh, uh, horrendous. I think if, if Keir Starmer said, you know what, all I'm going to do is sort out the NHS waiting list and uh, sort the potholes out, I don't think he'd go. I don't think he'd go far wrong. Do you know what I mean? But he won't do that, will he? He'll be. He'll be. He'll be fiddling about with landlords and going, oh yeah, landlords, we're going to do rent rent caps and all this sort of thing. That they don't like GPs, do they? Like West Street in doesn't like GPs. And he's decided that they're being paid too much, um, so there, there, there'll be something going on there where they'll, you know, cap GPs, and that'll be going on. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But you know, I just hope, like Keir Starmer sees this and thinks, oh, that's a good idea. Let's just do NHS potholes, sort out the monarchy, and uh, sort out the, the 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 care, sort out a care bill. Uh, that's all he needs to do. Uh, and then he, he might get my vote, you know what I mean? Um, but that's all I'm doing for now. I hope you enjoyed that rant. All right, cheers. Bye.